Hey, it's Prince of Queens, and I have finally figured out the perfect comeback to when you tell a feminist, or really just any woman who doesn't really know what she's talking about regarding gender issues, and especially male issues, and she happens to be of a certain character. Anytime you tell somebody who's like that, that you are somebody who is against feminism and if you are an MRA like I am or if you at least side with them and you might ever tell people actually I side a little bit more with the men's rights crowd which hopefully if you're my channel subscribers you would hopefully maybe say that to people I don't know I can hope anyhow if you are ever talking to one of these women that's either a feminist or feminist-ish and has kind of an attitude and you tell her, hey, I'm an MRA, she'll definitely have a tendency to say something like, oh my god, you're a misogynist? If they're a feminist, they probably won't really say anything else because that's just sort of, they expect people to believe that simply calling someone a misogynist is enough, often, I think. Or if it's somebody else, they might just be like, oh my god, you're actually an MRA? What, are you like, you know, drinking Mountain Dew and playing video games all day wishing you could get a date and so you're just mad or whatever? Like, what rights don't you have? Blah, 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 blah. So if they accuse you of something, if they say, well, you're a misogynist who obviously just wants more control over women, if you're a man... All you really have to say is the following. I'm a survivor. Wait, what was that? How would it work? Don't you think it's totally misogynist for men to be asking for more power when they already have so much power over women? I'm a survivor. One more time, because I'm an MRA. Oh my god, you didn't look like one of those dude bro misogynists like just in his mother's basement or whatever they, you actually don't look like that like why was i even talking to you oh my god why are you an mra i'm a survivor now i want to admit that i'm not saying it's gonna stop them dead in their tracks and then they're not gonna have anything to say or maybe it's just gonna perfectly pwn them into entirely thinking that they shouldn't talk with you about that or i don't know what is supposed to happen with the one-liner comeback like i don't know how exactly that's supposed to nullify this particular argument it can't it won't but what i will stress is that saying simply i'm a survivor saying that sounds incredibly confident it's a really, really great way of saying a number of things at once. Saying, I will not apologize for this. Saying, I know exactly what I am doing. You know, you are well aware what you're trying to do. And it implies that there's a bunch of really good reasons that are really motivating you to feel this way. And that you believe them with all your heart. And it also implies that, yes, feminism harms men. And, yeah, it's a little bit melodramatic about it, but maybe not really, considering how many men do commit suicide. Maybe it's not melodramatic at all. And so, I mean, for me, I don't know what I would be like if I didn't discover the problems with feminism and start paying specific attention to male issues and learn to become a little bit white pilled about that you know the taking the white pill for anybody who doesn't know that's when somebody becomes wildly optimistic about a certain thing because they use their imagination or they hear a really good persuasive argument that's made made them instead of having a lot of turmoil about a subject they choose optimism and in a lot of ways i've taken a white pill regarding the fact that i do legitimately believe that 
MRAs, people advocating for specific male rights, not just necessarily issues, which will probably never get worked out entirely. Like, you're never really going to get suicide to be even, probably. And, you know, the world would have to change so much for females to be committing suicide more. And ultimately, we don't want females to be, you know, like that ratio is a very depressing ratio. And it's not worth really focusing on the issues, which would be the ratio to how many men to how many women kill themselves. That's just a greater sign of all these other things. And out of all of those other things, there is specific rights, which are very tangibly legally denied to men, like men who are automatically arrested in any domestic violence conflict with a woman, even if he's the one that's attacked, even if she has a knife. That's a tangible right. And so when I speak about men's rights that are being denied, I think that we can actually start to make victories as a greater populist, especially starting with circumcision. I think that that's a fight that we could win and make circumcision of all types illegal in the United States. I think that we could pass that through the Supreme Court. And so for me to say what Thanos said, I'm not going to say it one more time, just to, for me to say, yes, I'm an MRA, I'm a survivor. I think that that really will convey something different to most of the people that I end up telling. And I'm going to try it. And I would, I mean, if you try it too, tell me how it works. Okay, bye.